Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. Welcome back guys to uh, She Snowed. Uh, the last video you guys seen it was 50 degrees and sunny. I just brought the foiler in. I've been trying to get her melted off. Let's check out the mud. She is coated with mud. But uh, we are going to go set a new farm. I'm gonna take the old school. We got a school here and we got a school on the other property. I'm not sure how many T-bones that I have left. Uh, where the hell? I just seen one. They kind of bounced out of the four wheeler. Here's one. I'm gonna put out as many of these as I can find. Everything bounces off the four wheeler at some point. But, uh, yeah. So, we're going to Iowa. We're gonna go set for Bobcats. We got 15 days left of the season in Iowa. We're gonna go and, and set up as much as we can. Uh, the guy that deer hunts it has bunch of bobcats on on camera so hopefully we can get pick up a couple their limit is three in iowa so we're gonna hit go and hit it hard as we can for the last 15 days um i'm shopping for a ranger at the moment i know someone commented on one of my live streams that his dad runs the place in hastings nebraska if you're still around leave me a comment i need to talk to your dad we need a ranger. It's time. All right, let's get ready. I'm going to get some cable restraints ready. I got a bucket of traps that I've pulled. I'm going to put new uh, wolf fangs on them. We're gonna set as much as we can today, and then obviously I set tomorrow, and I'll set some more the next day of that till our line's full. But never been there, so hopefully we. Uh, can see some sign we got like i said we got snow on the ground now so if we can find some bobcat sign and set up on it we're good to go we're ready to go stay tuned and while i was uh setting up these cables i would show you guys a lot of questions asked about cables and how you set them up these i got these cables from j-dubs i'm just gonna cut my cable here the cable restraints are done. All I'm doing is putting on my anchors. I'm gonna cut one at 30 inches cable. Got my aluminum furl on there. Cramp it. I need a table crimper at some point I'm gonna get one but for now this one works just fine there's a little bit more, a little bit more work involved that's it <sighs> down here I got a wolf fang three crimps usually is what I do. I'm sure someone will say you only need two cramps or one cramp, but I usually do three cramps. Then I just come up above the swivel and put my tag on there. You don't have to have tags in your state and you're lucky because all it does is tell people who traps they stole all right that's pretty much it i just repeat put my anchors on uh since i'm using cable restraints even though in iowa i can use snares i usually do my cable restraints with short basically i don't want any extension really because i don't want them getting into entanglement so 
That's why I do it this way. And even though I'm going to Iowa, but when I pull these, I can just I won't have to worry about it. I can just reuse them here in, in Missouri. But where we're going in Iowa, I can just toss them in the trees. I don't have to worry about it. So it'll be nice if I can find some good trails. This is mostly going to be timber. I just screwed up because I was busy talking. But where I'm going is mostly timber, so we're going to be focusing on bobcats mostly. We might pick up some coyotes in there. There's definitely a chance of coyotes. Pretty much across the road is where I caught all the beavers at, so. And we caught some coyotes there. I'm just gonna take these six cables that J-Dubs gave me and see what it looks like. I've not been there, so I don't know. Just wanna have them with me just in case I find a good spot. Well, here's what she looks like. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this at all. I mean, I'm in the driveway of this place. And I was looking at all these coyote tracks going out of this driveway. And I just found this. Bobcats going up on top of here. That's unreal. I mean, it don't get no fresher than that. I don't know where they came from yet. High hair, maybe. The snow's like powder, so. I need to find where them cats are coming down. And... Remember, we just got snow yesterday. Right here. You come down off this giant ridge right here. That's a pretty good start, I would say. <laughs> and you got the truck unloaded and I already found Bobcat's track, so. I don't like being this close to the road. It's just right there, boom, road. But definitely tells me I need to put a couple sets in right here. Sets that I could probably check early in the morning on my way to work. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to unload, go check out this property, save back a few sets for right here. We'll, we'll set here. Probably put one right in that mound. That's where they climbed over. Deer all over. Looks good. Basically, this is a gigantic... This is what they call the Lowe's Hills. It runs north and south. And this is a valley. There's two valleys right here in between it. And they got roads going up them. I'm going to drive right up this road and look for sign. He told me where the best spot he saw had the most uh, bobcats on camera, which is way up on top of here. So we already come in and found tracks right in the beginning. So that's cool. Well, let's get this unloaded and go check this place out. Stay tuned. I've decided to follow these tracks and it's pretty crazy. So there's the truck. They come right down through there, like zigzagging through things. I mean, places where I could probably put a cable restraint. Pete over there walks right straight through this little opening, like right against this tree. All perfect. I mean, there's, that's several trips. That's, it just snowed yesterday and there's several tracks there. There's some old tracks. It goes through there. I know where he's going. I got some bones here. Deer, dead deer. 
I know exactly where he's going. Through here, look at this trail. This is a trail right here. There's a, he just goes right under that and goes through there. We can put a snare right here and try to get our first snared bobcat in Iowa. That would be epic. There's a trail there. He got off of it right there for a second. See his footprints? He looked that way. He's going this way. He's gonna go, he's gonna go right up this ridge to get back up on top. Straight up this ridge right here. And the deer are, are terrible here. I don't like that. That's the only bad thing. There's another set of bobcat tracks right here. He's going right up here. Look at that. He's going right up that hill. They love these ridges going up and down them. They come down here to hunt. Yep, no tracks going this way. Big old coyote track going down that hill right there. Bobcat. Two bobcats ran this. One went that way and one went that way. It's gonna get right up on that ridge right there. Is that another set right here? Sure is. Right here on top of this ridge, they went up that way. Man, I don't know. I've never seen such sign. My luck, they'll never come back through again. That was a one and only deal. All right, I just struck another cat track. Coming down through here. It's coming right down this draw right here. I mean, don't get any fresher than that. Let's see if there's a... I mean, that's fresh right there. Go straight up that draw, so we'll put a set in here somewhere. I mean, the snow is deep here. We'll find some place. I saw one set of coyote tracks come right here. It's right on this side of the trail. Right there, it's running that way by itself. So we'll come in here somewhere. We'll put in just a straight up dirt hole set to attract the cat and the coyote. Get very far yet. Something happened here. Mousing, it looks like. That can't come over and check that out, too. Somebody's digging around for mice right here. That cat went right along there and went straight up into that thick stuff. See the ridge? You can kind of see it now. It's huge. Both sides. Huge ridge. I gotta get a try to get him down. Man, I don't know. This the snow's so deep. Trying to find a spot. Look at this. <laughs> it's that old crusty stuff from the last dorm we had, but look, it's it's stalled out underneath. And this will attract a cat for sure. Pretty obvious something's happened there. And there ain't no way they're gonna be able to stand up there and look down in that hole. That's the good thing about the snow is it insulates below, so if you're not already frozen in, look at that. I mean, how? tell me a cat ain't gonna see that. I went right across his tracks. Here's his tracks. 
he's already gonna that's the way he's gonna walk next time i'm gonna put his trap right where he would have stepped And then when he gets, when we catch something here, because I see the coons are moving, this will be completely destroyed and it'll look even better. Basically, I'm just setting up these trails. We know that they're gonna travel on these trails. So I'm working my way to the top. Another trap right there. This one, I knew I was gonna forget something. I forgot my freaking wool, my sheep's wool. Damn it. And I screwed that up. Dry dirt. Boy, imagine how many fawns these bobcats are eating if there's this many of them. <laughs> That's unreal. Hand cover. will break up any outline you don't want no I don't want no circles I don't want that square right there no one traps here so or has trapped here so this could be good this is the deer hunting property so can't get in here until the deer hunts over This is catnip, that's what he calls it, from Ted's Fur Shop. We'll see what, how it does. Probably be good for coyotes also. And we'll go up here just a little ways and we'll put in a flag set. Alright all right guys, I got a fox trail with some bobcat tracks in it looks like. I think I'm gonna put a cable right next to that tree. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do. Look at it, it zigzags right through that. I'm gonna put a couple cables here for sure. It's gonna happen. All right. Might not ever catch anything, but it looks beautiful to me. They've been traveling it. The ice is busted down. There's definitely some hard traffic there.
Yeah, we'll see if that scares them or not. We'll find out because there'll be tracks going around it and there ain't none going around it right now. Big old dirty deer hole here. Look at that. Right in the middle of my track, so we can't hit it. Just drive right over it. We'll put a 550 here to cover. Actually, Julie. Am I still rolling? Phone went dead, or the GoPro went dead in the middle of this, so I had to change the battery. We got this nasty old drill here. It's gonna be perfect. A little bit of dry dirt. This way, if they don't fall for the old snare, they might come in here and hit Julie and die. You know, Julie's gonna kill somebody. Somebody, something Julie's gonna kill. Something for sure. And then uh, I got the old woofang on here. So we gotta have to beat it on there. Dang it, I hate these things. Bad batch. And it's pissed me off so badly. Oh well. I had to double check, make sure it was on the correct property. That would be so, I would be so heartbroken if it was in the wrong wood. <laughs> it's kind of luck I got though. So you can see all the ice is still here. So there's a good chance that we won't happen to deal with freezing and thawing here, which would be awesome. Everywhere else, was melted, but not here. Get that guy down in there hard. They don't bed as easy as the, I'm not gonna lie about that. They definitely do not bed anywhere like the 550s do. There we go, now we're solid. And I got snow in there. We're solid now. Oh, Julie. Give me a bobcat, Julie. Biggest one we get, if we do catch a bobcat, is going to Carter Taxidermy and get taxidermist. Taxidermied or whatever, however you say it. Put that in there. You guys seen what you guys seen the 550 blow up in my face last time it was ready to go some of this darker stuff just a real light blend i mean look at that what i don't know why anything wouldn't go in there bait in there looks like I'm hearing things now monsters trying to come after me big old dub soul taker and that one's ready to go too and I probably should be marking these on my phone oh check this guy out oh man oh no man down Oh, help me! Help me, 
Jesus. Huh. Couldn't see how deep that was. It was full of snow. So, note to self, stay out of that. Pictured it. We were up top. There's a tree stand. We were up top, and somewhere there's a fence line, and the bobcats are running right along that fence line. So I will find that fence line. So I'm right at the right at the very end of the back corner of this. Uh, and I just struck another cat track here. It comes off of that property and goes straight down into here. There's a good chance since it's not that really that big. The property seems huge. It's mostly valleys and shit. That that cat could be the one that walked all the way down to the bottom of here but we're still gonna set it up that's a trail we'll set a cat we'll put another cable there and then we're gonna look down here and see if there's any interesting sign and then it looks like we're going back down all right guys based on the tracks you can see he stepped in the same tracks twice. As I'm going to put a set over here with a CD. And if he's coming through, he's going to be focusing on that CD. He ain't even going to think about that cable. Double whammy. You can perfectly see down this through here. And you can see good all along this fence. So the ridge, the, it drops off over there. And then there's a real nice little valley here that they could see up here. So we're going to hang a CD right here. A shiny, shiny CD. And then we're going to put a dirt hole here. Slash T-bone. I'm glad that the ground is thawed out. Big old dirt hole. We want them to step down in it. Right in there. Take all this dirt out of here. Look how much that stands out. Like a sore thumb. This guy. Get beat in right here. <coughs> Coyotes can't resist those either. So we will. I think I probably screwed up the set by doing this. But I want that bone to stand out big time when they come up here. And I think that will probably do it. Oops, that sounded like I just broke her in half. Oh yeah, somebody asked about this flat part. This is in fact for for beating in the uh, stuff. That's what a part, the heart, the, the flat part on a hammer is for beating stuff.
I am not too worried about the brands. I just use traps. I don't care what the hell they are. And that's where I'm going back to doing. I don't know. I don't care whose trap it is as long as it's catching critters. It's the only goal I got. I'm not going to take Joe Blow's trap and try extra hard to catch critters. I'm just going to take Joe Blow's trap, put it in the ground and catch critters. I'm not going to be like, you know, I think I have a good chance of catching something here to show that so-and-so's trap works. No, it's going in the ground. It's going to catch something. Here we go. T-bone. Now, That's some pretty thick shit. What the hell poundage was that? It's only 15 pounds, but it sure did seem harder than that. I got a beaver tail. And I got a wing. I got a little bit of assortment of stuff to hang, but I want to put this CD up here because it is going to flash this whole area. You just want it to shine. Gosh, what's this gonna shine? All right. Hopefully, we can get a bobcat before the coons come in and get it. That'll be awesome. And I'm just cruising, and I've got. I'm back down to the towards the bottom. I have a cat set down here and cat set. Well, <laughs> cat, cat, come across these trees right here. See his tracks right here. Hop down there. It's a pretty nice cat. There's several tracks meeting right here, and and the tracks go all the way down to where I set that cat track when I was first coming in on the trail. Here we got a set of tracks coming down along here. They go right into that, and then we got a set right here. They danced around, and then we got that set coming down through those through that log onto the tree, and they jump down and they run by the foreler. I mean, freaking cat tracks! I'd hope they come back through by the time I look at this. They got to come back through within 16 days, I would hope I could get a cat. If I don't get a cat, oh my God, I've never seen such a, and then this, I believe to be raccoon. You get that here. I'm used to running at raccoons, I'm pretty sure those are raccoons crossing down there. But there's nothing we can do really about that. We will, uh, they focus in this area. It's pretty obvious. I think he's gonna put one up there and one over there, and hopefully that since there's no king tracks there, the kings will just go down where they normally do and leave it alone. But that's highly unlikely, so 
but I can't feel this. I'm gonna stick out this time I'm done. And I'm not out of batteries. So that's about it for this video. Apparently. It's going to be like, what's going on here?
son of a bitch. Look how tore up that is. Jeez, you can tell me they ain't gonna see that from a mile away. Glad I drove up here now. There wasn't a trail. I, I just kind of went. I don't have any white wings, so the uh, CD is my next thing. And my, you guys see my icicles. I didn't get any new ones this year. I was re didn't even think about it at the time when Christmas was going on. There we go. He comes down that hill. He's gonna definitely. See that CD? Look at that CD just twirl. Okay, I'm back at the road. You're about to hear a car go by. Uh, the cat went right here, climbed up on this hill. So we're gonna come right here. Put in a dural set. We know it wants to, we know it comes right here. And if not, it's gonna go on this trail and it's gonna see this anyways. Big old dirt hole here. I like to make it like something was digging here. And then you do this. You throw that clear out there. And that's gonna, they're gonna see that when they're walking up there. If you've ever watched your dogs dig, they throw some stuff. So right here's my trap bed. Can I stream here? Boy, since I died him, I can't tell him apart. Bridger. I'm right next to the road. Clean as day. This trap may not be here anymore after a day. It's a long trap. The 
bobcats are right next to the road, so I gotta be next to the road. They're right here. Yeah, it's just so easy to bed a lot of these traps. Too much dirt. For the coyotes, just a small covering, just in case a coyote comes in here, which they are on this trail behind me. So. Get some bait in there. As you can see, it sticks out pretty good. Pretty good sticking out in the snow to me and every person that comes along here. <laughs> Look at that. That bobcat has to investigate that. Ted's Fur Shop in Alaska, guys. Alaskan Premium Long Distance Cat Call. This is what they use for lynx up in Alaska. So there's those. So we got dogs going this way. Oh, I didn't even see this cat track. We got dogs going that way. And apparently the cats too. So hopefully we can pick up a dog right here where everybody can't see it. I'm right here, I'm a sitting duck. I don't like that part. So we're gonna put in a couple cables in this trail here. I'd like to put a cable right here on this road. All right, stay tuned, we'll figure something out now down here. All right, so the cats came down that. Went over on that hill, we got a set there, I'm right next to the road. Down through here, zigzag, 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 zigzag. Right through here, we put a dirt hole. Yeah. See his fresh tracks right there. Plain as day. Go straight through there, right? I didn't put any cable restraints down in here. Just because uh, I don't really feel like setting that other one out. I do got a couple on the road over here behind me. That two cats it looked like. Cat. Two sets came up here. So I got a dirt hole there. Just off to where they were. They were right here. Then they split up. One cat goes this way, and the other cat went this way. He got up on that ridge and walked that little tiny ridge, which they like doing that. They walked them ridges, and then the other cat went that way. So, we just gotta wait for him to come back through and hopefully get an Iowa cat on the ground. But here's where we're at. And you hear another vehicle coming. Loud vehicle. Park there. Cat tracks all through here, coming down there and over there and over there. 
and then just up here we got cats coming tracks coming down we drove up that canyon cat tracks and then clear up on top of the hill we got more cat tracks so could be the same ones just making the rounds this is the only thing i don't like big old dog track I had to check early because we don't want that guy in the trap. Hopefully he stays away. But we got some sets out. I'm walking the wrong way of the foiler like a dummy. Get the foiler loaded up and out of here for today. Pretty cool new little property. Got, got bobcat sign everywhere. I couldn't imagine if, well, I guess you still only can get three, but I need to find a trapping buddy. I think probably the person that deer hunts this is going to become a new trapping buddy. He's got a trapping license, so put some of his traps in here and have fun with it for the next 16 days. Stay tuned.